हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम तनुगल सी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट डिग्री कॉलेज धर्मपुर फ्रॉम हिमाचल प्रदेश यूनिवर्सिटी शिमला टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन मॉड्यूल वैल्यूज एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ स्ट्रेस फ्रॉम द पेपर ह्यूमन वैल्यूज एंड इंडियन इथोस आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू understand the concept of values describe meaning of stress discuss various causes of stress explaining the individual and organizational strategies to manage the stress firstly let us discuss the meaning of values values are beliefs or a framework of philosophy of a person on the basis of which he judges what is right or wrong desirable or undesirable good or bad these represent something which is perceived good and desirable for everyone human values are the basis of ethical and unethical behavior now let us study the characteristics of values there are various characteristics of values some of them have been discussed as below values involve emotion knowledge and ultimately choice of response values are part of culture values are adaptive that is they are subject to change over a period of time value formation is slow and long term process initial values learned by an individual at his early age of life are more enduring in business context group and organizational values are more important than individual values let us study sources of value formation there are numerous sources for value formation some of them have been discussed as below first is social institutions although there are numerous institutions in the society which inculcate values in individuals however religion family state and school are the basic sources of values for individuals and organizations these basic value forming sources are interrelated values fostered by each source reinforce the values of others thus the value patterns exhibited by the individuals and organizations are the outcome of cumulative impact of various resources value systems are formed over a lifetime of experience but the major influence of basic sources or institutions prevails the values are formed by these institutions by prescribing what is good or bad for a person and rewarding good behavior and scolding for bad behavior this happens in daily routine of a person and he learns that behavior which is rewarded and reinforced next is organization an organization is a collection of individuals its values are reflected in the form of values of individuals working in the organization however the organizational values are more in tune with values of those who are at the helm of affairs that is values of managers so the individual has to either adjust himself to the value of organization or to leave the organization thus to stay in organization an individual starts accepting organizational values over a period of time and his value system changes to conform to organizational values next is colleagues an individual as a member of formal or informal group subscribes values of groups of colleagues and peers he tends to conform to groups norms or values as these group values strengthen and protect a given group thus an individual develop and applies values derived from group departure from these values may lead to disapproval of individuals associates and cut in benefits rights or privileges available to him as a member of the group next is work an individual undertakes some work to earn his livelihood he may join some organization where he will have to do work entrusted to him from time to time over a period of time an individual follows a progressive series of jobs and positions 
which is termed as occupational career. Each work and career creates special values that provide unity and meaning to the persons or groups. Thus, individuals performing these works will have to follow these values. Need for studying values Study of the values in business context is important due to following reasons. Values have impact on interpersonal relationship. Values regulate the code of conduct. Values influence perception of situation or problems. Values influence organizational decisions and define the concept of success. Stress Meaning and Definition Stress is inevitable in modern times. Stress in general and job stress in particular has affected everybody's life. Kreider, Goethals, Kavanaugh and Solomon described stress as a pattern of disruptive psychological and physiological functioning that occurs when an environmental event is appraised as a threat to important goals and one's ability to cope. Job stress is a situation when an individual finds himself as unable to cope up with the pressure of job. It occurs as a result of mismatch between expectations of individual and organization. According to Behar and Newman, job stress is a condition arising from interaction of people and their jobs and characterized by changes within people that force them to deviate from their normal functioning. Nature of stress Stress or job stress is not always bad in itself. It is considered a good servant but a bad master. When stress is caused by undesirable outcomes, it becomes distress, which calls for the examination and strategies to cope with it because it generally results in heart problems, alcoholism, drug abuse, marital problems, etc. When stress arises by desirable outcomes, it is known as a stress, which is a positive and developmental stress response. Stress is individualistic in nature. Fisher, Schoenfeld, Shaw opined that every individual, there is optimum level of stress under which he or she performs to full capacity. Stress level and its impact. Stress at workplace has become important area of study of organizational behavior for it leads to absenteeism and high labor turnover. It has physiological and psychological effects on employees and managers. It may increase number of accidents at workplace, especially when stressed employee handles dangerous machines and equipments. It reduces organization's productivity and profitability. It makes employee non-cooperative. Causes of stress There are numerous factors that cause stress. Economic factors, technological factors, and political factors. Organizational factors There are many factors at workplace that can be potential source of success. These factors can be classified as job-related factors, role-related factors, personal factors, Stress management. Stress management means any action taken to reduce stress experienced by individuals in the execution of their functions. Stress has bad consequences for individual himself and for the organization as a whole. Therefore, some initiatives at individual and organizational level are necessary. Individual approaches. Knowledge about stress help in managing stress effectively. An individual can cope with tensions created by job demands through proper time management. Exercise of any kind helps people in coping with stress. One should become assertive. Social support systems such as family, friends or work colleagues should be expanded for reducing tensions of life. People should modify their personal and work life goals in the light of their ability as well as resources to reach such goals. Yoga or meditation should be practiced daily to reduce tension. Financial resources should be effectively managed with proper planning of means and uses. Positive attitude towards life will help in reducing stress. Stress should be looked upon as a friend and not enemy. 
इट विल रिड्यूस द चांसेस ऑफ बर्न आउट ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल अप्रोचेज केयर शुड बी टेकन एट द टाइम ऑफ सिलेक्शन एंड प्लेसमेंट ऑफ एम्प्लॉय प्रॉपर गोल सेटिंग एंड इफेक्टिव फीडबैक सिस्टम रिड्यूस स्ट्रेस एंड प्रोवाइड मोटिवेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शुड अडॉप्ट पार्टिसिपेटिव डिसीजन मेकिंग इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन विद एम्प्लॉयज विल रिड्यूस स्ट्रेस कॉस्ड थ्रू कन्फ्यूजन्स एंड अनसर्टेनिटी बाय लेसनिंग रोल एम्बिग्यूटी एंड रोल कन्फ्लिक्ट द जॉब्स शुड बी रीडिजाइंड इन अ वे टू गिव एम्प्लॉयज मोर फ्रीडम एर्गोनॉमिक्स अ टेक्निक टू रिड्यूस डिसकम्फर्ट can be used to reduce stress caused by physical environment at the workplace promoting teamwork is another initiative which the management should take to reduce interpersonal conflict an organization can provide facilities for physical fitness such as gym swimming pool tennis courts etc summary values are the beliefs on the basis of which an individual judges what is right or wrong desirable or undesirable good or bad values involve emotion knowledge and ultimately choice of responses values are adaptive that is they are subject to change over a period of time is business context group and organizational values are more important than the individual values social institutions organization colleagues and work are the important sources of value formation however social institutions have greater role in value formation in early stages of person's life study of value in business context is very important as values regulate the code of conduct and define concept of success stress is inevitable in modern times stress in general and job stress in particular has affected everybody's life stress is the body's general response to environmental situations which can lead to physiological discomfort emotional unhappiness and strained relations with the others job stress is a situation when an individual find himself as unable to cope up with the pressures of job job stress exist in all types of work environment with varying degree it adversely affects performance and profitability and is a major factor responsible for employees poor health high degree of job stress leads to decreased job satisfaction and less commitment to work reduced performance absenteeism high labor turnover and financial losses to the organization stress or job stress is not always bad in itself it is considered as a good servant but bad master organizational performance and employee health are at their peak at optimum level of perceived stress there are numerous factors that causes stress economic factors technological factors and political factors have impact on macro level whereas there are certain factors in organization group and personal or family life that causes stress at micro level that is having direct impact on individual high degree stress has adverse consequences for individuals and organization therefore some initiatives at individual and organizational level are necessary at individual level knowledge about stress readjustment of goals positive attitude time management exercise yoga and meditation will help in coping with the stress however job security better working condition participative decision making effective communication job redesigning team work yoga or meditation classes for employees and managers are organizational strategies for reducing and managing the stress level thank you